Hello everyone, this is Jerry Pacey, Product Manager at Pepperon Fuchs for the Smart Runner. Today we want to discuss some quick tips and key features for the Smart Runner Matcher and Smart Runner Matcher Extended. So anti-vibration pads are usually a thin material used on a car body and they commonly will dampen sound or prevent vibration. So first we'll start off by showing you how to connect up the Smart Runner and get into Vision Configurator. So of course we have 2D and 3D selected in Vision Configurator. Smart Runner selected, hit Refresh COM ports. After a second, hit OK. A couple seconds, we should be into the software. And the first thing we want to do is go over to Diagram View tab at the top. You can resize the screen if needed. And then we're going to hit Get Lines. After we do that, we want to hit Fit to Line to kind of see what the profile looks like. So after you hit get lines in the diagram view, the next move you want to do is bring in the evaluation and teach area right over the actual target. So I'll grab the teach area like this, bring it much further down to our actual target area here, which is where you see the red line. So I'll bring it much closer. Same thing with the evaluation. I'm going to bring that much, much closer like that. And then maybe even a little more. Once we hit fit to line, which allows us to zoom in closer, we can get more precise. So now we have it there. And you can kind of see this is actually a table here. And this is our line profile that we want to focus on. That's the actual anti-vibration pad. So again, we want to zoom out just a little bit to put that teach area directly over the line profile. You want this to be as small as possible and only include what you need. So from there, the next thing we want to go to is matcher at the bottom and then go to match and tolerance object. So this is the size of the object that we're kind of looking for. So by default, it's set at five millimeters, which is a lot higher than the actual target we have here. We're gonna turn it down quite a bit to three, so 0.3 millimeters. So that's the difference in change it will detect basically. And then we can go over to teach. So as soon as you hit teach, you can actually look at the physical sensor and you'll see that the LED is green. And then if you go to result view, and hit start request you will also see that the quality good is very high at 99 and that the result is also good matching that led okay so again to further explain this uh, result view this quality good is basically a percentage representation of how many points or percentage points matches the original talk preference so since we haven't changed anything here that's why it's so high but if we move the target just a little bit like you see here it'll go bad. So the quality good is what made that happen. The profile changed and the quality good dropped down to 50. So the next thing we want to do is hit stop request and I'll show you why that quality good registers as bad. So at the bottom, if we go to the matcher tab and then to match, and then if you look where it says quality good. So this is our threshold. So this is the percentage point that we have it set where the sensor will go from a good to a bad. So the reason why that target went from good to bad is because the quality good went lower than 80. Right now you can see it's at a quality good of 50. So the difference between that anti-vibration pad being present is nearly 50 percentage points. It's a very, very big difference. Even though the target is very, very small, and even though it's a dark target with a dark background, the smart router can still detect it because it's a very visible line profile. So the next thing we want to do is introduce the target back to its original top position, which is what we'll do here. So I'll go back to result view, hit start request. So now actually, if you move it along that profile, you'll see that it stays good the entire time until you get off of the target and it goes immediately bad. So this shows that it can also be consistent. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found the video useful. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And have a nice day.